Hey. Hey, Gretchen. So, I was going to put you up a video, but I thought that this might be a little easy, or uh, photos, but I thought a video might be a little easier to explain how a finger mechanism works. Um, they're pretty simple. I pulled some stuff out of my toolbox today and assembled this little knuckle joint here for you. It's a uh, nothing really really that complicated um, let me pull this off real quick so the basic idea behind a finger joint is well let me show you one that, that is working uh, this one's been This one's been bastardized for parts a little bit, but it is working. Um, the basic idea for a cable-operated finger joint is, um, well, you have a, let's see if you can see this, you have a, a cable that runs along the bottom, you have springs at the top, and a joint in the middle. And if you see here, on this one, let's move this out of the way so you can see, this one is exactly the same thing. So I have a spring across the top here and a cable runs through here and as the, the cable pulls this short it makes the finger curl. Um, this one is the, this one's fabricated from um, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you're going to need is a little butane torch to be able to um, uh, braise some to solder some stuff together. Um, but it's just L brackets, um, and this is a little custom piece of brass. You can go to a hobby store and buy brass, and this is a, this guide here, the spring guide, is just a little brass tube. Um, on the more complicated ones, like this, pull the finger off of this. And I wish I could take this one apart and show you, but uh, it has been, uh, the nuts have been super glued on which is something that I recommend you do so that they don't come off while you're using it. Um, but, so it's it's the same idea. This one's fabricated out of uh, um, aluminum. These are just bars of aluminum that have had holes drilled in them. And i uh, show you on the one that's working here. These are bars of aluminum that have had holes drilled in them. And I'm using zip ties here to just hold the springs on. This, this little knuckle here that holds the spring in place, the spring holder, is just a piece of aluminum can that was cut up. Uh, I've got washers on either side, of course holes drilled through for this, some tubing as a guide for this uh, this cable, and this is a this is a uh, arm extension and it's missing the piece of copper pipe in the handle and you would just use key rings and your fingers would grab them and you pull it like this, so um, that's what this is. It's it's not particularly difficult to build. Uh, it's a little complicated, uh, but the concept is just amazingly simple. Um, there's going to be a lot of figuring out on your part. Um, this is the one that I'm working on right now. Uh, this one is uh, 3D printed. Um, I have a 3D printer. If you're going to do a lot of fabrication, I recommend you buy one. Uh, this is a hand for a um, puppet for a stage show. Um, and it's a little stiffer. If you notice, though, it works exactly the same way. You have your uh, your ends here to hold the springs. So let me show you on the, the really easy home fabricated one. So you can see these are these work exactly the same way. The only difference is, is uh, these are 3D printed parts. So you have your, your stays here to hold your springs, which is exactly what these two pieces here are. And then you have your joint here in the center. You have your guide, which is actually inside the, the uh, spring here. Uh, your cable guide, it's locked off at the end. And when you pull the cable, voila, the finger bends. It's, uh, not particularly a difficult 
thing to do. This one's a little stiffer. These springs are a little stiffer. The smaller springs are going to be quite a bit stiffer than the larger springs. And I recommend using larger springs if you are going to um, if you're going to have a, a arm extension where you're you're moving your hand to do it. Um, if you use these little small springs, you're going to kill yourself. Um, they are really difficult. You'll get tendonitis real quick from it. Your, your hands will hurt, like right here, it'll hurt really bad from pulling on the springs. Um, so use the larger springs with it. Um, that's about it. They're not particularly difficult to build, and if you have any comments or questions or anything, um, feel free to ask me anything you want to know about it. Um, if I don't think I can just explain it to you in words, I will, uh, I'll make you another little video to show you. Alright, thank you.